Hi everyone, welcome to the last faith lift video of this week. For this past week, we, if you've been following us, we've been looking at breakthroughs uh, in our spiritual life based on a, a series which I've been preaching through Nehemiah. And for this past week, we've been looking at what are the spiritual components that bring breakthrough in your life. Uh, you know, from the transforming of your mind to the company we keep and the company that we are, uh, and the pattern of this world, how this world tries to form us in it. But today I want to finish off with the, with the last critical, com critical component of, of what it means to have spiritual breakthrough in your life. And I, and I really believe this is a key one uh, for your spiritual growth. And so if you've been floundering a bit, maybe feeling far from God in your spiritual walk, uh, perhaps you haven't even thought about God for a while, but you've been watching these videos for a while, just really longing to find something more, meaning in your life. I want to read from Hebrews 10 verse 25. It says, Do not give up meeting together as some are in the habit of doing, but encourage one another and all the more as you see the day approaching. I want to talk about this concept of church uh, in this last uh, of our faith of videos about spiritual breakthrough because I believe the church is critical in your spiritual growth. I know it's been hard during lockdown uh, to actually have church uh, because, you know, it's been so disruptive and different patterns come into your life. But that verse talks about a habit. Uh, some have got into a bad habit of avoiding church and maybe that's you today. Or perhaps some of you don't believe in church. You kind of go, what's the point? Uh, how does this whole thing work? Or you've been hurt by church. And I know many people that have been hurt by church. Growing up, you've had bad experience of church. Uh, you've seen relationships that have hurt you deeply or the way the church has acted in certain ways. Maybe you see the hypocrisy of church. People who go to church uh, and then you know what they're like during the week. Um, you maybe see somebody that you know who's uh, a leader in the church or even the pastor themselves. Uh, and you kind of look at their life during the week and go, you know, that's why would I want to be belong or be part of that? The reality is there's no perfect church. There's no perfect people. Uh, it's always a joke, you know, the perfect church is the one you don't attend. Yet what I am convinced of is this, is that the church is part of the design of God's plan for you and me. Whether we like it or not, God doesn't want us to be alone. In our spiritual walk as well. He doesn't want us to be alone. He, he, he wants us to have those iron sharp and iron relationships. That, that biblical community that wants the best of God's plan for you. And every single one of us. A community where we encourage one another. We spur each other on as Hebrews 10 verse 24 speaks just before this verse. Community that, that loves you as you are. But loves you too much to leave you the way you are. Knowing that God has a greater purpose. A greater plan for your life. And you know, the one thing which I always say when I engage with people, when they, they talk about why they don't go to church or why, why they don't believe biblically that they should be in the church. And I always remind them, I said, who are we to tell God we don't need a church? We need design for us to have it. Who are we to think that we can tell God that we know what's best for our spiritual life and it doesn't include the church? I love the fact that, that God says he died for the church. He died for his bride. Christ gave up his life for his bride to present it dazzling and white, God-giving glory. And so the church has a purpose and has a purpose in your life. And what if part of the reason you're feeling far from God, what happens if you keep on going on this roller coaster ride in your spiritual relationship? Is because you're not, you're not fully submerging yourself. As Ephesians says, are you established and rooted in love in a local community? Is that why you maybe go through these ups and downs, these periods where, where, where you feel far from God? If you're not in a church, I only ask you to take a step of courage to find one today. Start giving church a try again. Try to see what God intended it to be and live out that purpose. And if you stopped going, start again. No matter the hurt, no matter the pain, start again. Allow God to bring healing because he uses the church, he uses the body. I'm not talking about the building, I'm talking about the church, Christians coming together. There's a purpose behind that. God knows what's best for you and he knows what's best for me and he knows that we need each other in our spiritual walk. So let me pray for us today. Lord, help us to... 
whatever our ideas and concepts of church are. There is no perfect church, but Lord, help us to, to strive to be the perfect church. In whatever setting we are, that we would find a community, a Christian community of people who love you, or try to love you as best as they can, and that we would spur each other on to righteousness and good deeds. That we would lift each other up. And sometimes that means hard conversations. Sometimes that means uh, having um, rebuke from a friend rather than kisses from an enemy. Lord, help us to go deeper in relationship with you because of our relationship with others around us. Help us to be the church you died for and gave your life for. Help us to present it as a beautiful bride. So Lord, help us to find the church and be the church that you called us to be. In Jesus' name, amen. Have a great weekend. And if you join us, you can join us uh, in-house here in Richards Bay. Otherwise, we do have our streaming services. It will be great to catch up with you online. Have a blessed weekend.